Today on Earth Focus, physicist and physician Dr. Anita Goel on nanotechnology and how it's transforming healthcare around the world. Coming up on Earth Focus. So nanotechnology is, in my mind, the ability to probe and control matter, energy, and information on increasingly small scales. Nano means 10 to the minus 9 meters, but I define nanotechnology as going beyond 10 to the minus 9 meters, even smaller scales. It's really about the trend of starting to control nature, matter, energy, and information on 10 to the minus 9 meters and smaller scales. And why is that important? Because when we can control nature on such fine, small scales, the implications that happen on macroscopic scales can be quite profound. Our organization, NanoBioSim, is really focused on innovation on three levels. Fundamental research and technology incubation, where physics, nano, and bio come together more holistically, creating new science, new technologies, incubating them, spinning off new companies, and finding new ways of solving global problems. Uh, we have a commercial spin-off called Nanobiosim Diagnostics that's commercializing our first product, which is Gene Radar, which is a way of diagnosing disease in a mobile platform. And we see this as a platform for enabling mobilized and personalized healthcare. Well, I'll give you an example in the context of our Gene Radar platform. It's a way of diagnosing disease by taking a chip, putting a drop of blood or saliva on it, sticking it into a mobile device, and rapidly diagnosing, for example, what infection a person has. And you could use it to do a test that traditionally requires a big lab infrastructure, running water, electricity, a lot of trained personnel. You could instead take that ability of diagnosing disease outside of that centralized infrastructure into a doctor's office, into people's homes, and even in rural remote villages in the developing world. And so you get rid of some of that overhead infrastructure and you're able to do it faster, better, and cheaper with just as good, if not better, accuracy and precision. And what it means for sustainable technology development is if you can create technologies that require less overhead infrastructure, are more mobile, you create a platform for empowering many more people to have access to that capability, like the internet, wireless technology, cell phones. These things took those technology capabilities outside the domain of a f the few who had access to those centralized infrastructures. Uh, for example, Google did that with the internet, with information. Information used to be confined to libraries or schools of higher learning. With Google today, Anybody sitting in any part of the world theoretically has access to that information. So it decentralized the access to that commodity. Likewise, I think health has been confined to doctors, healthcare workers, centralized hospitals and, and facilities. If we can deliver that same capability in a mobile setting, you can now decentralize that. That means out of the six or seven billion people on Earth, a much greater fraction of those people will have access to that capability. I am an optimist. I believe that the responsibility is on our shoulders to build a more sustainable planet. I think it's about raising our consciousness as individuals, as societies, as, as a civilization, as, as of our whole planet. And um, I see technologies, such as the ones we're involved in, as enablers to that higher uh, mission, uh, but they're not alone the whole solution. Uh, if they were, I would spend all my time in the laboratory. But there is a bigger laboratory, which is our planet Earth. And in order to deploy those technologies, we have to figure out how to scale those technologies in the right responsible way so the technologies coming out of the lab actually do deliver the sustainable impact on the planet.
U.S. airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.